is Shop Talk and I'm Ria Tanwan Cotrillo. For a unique Christmas experience, you may want to consider spending the holiday season in a place rich in Christmas tradition and culture. Obviously, nothing can beat celebrating Christmas at the very place where Christ was born. And here to tell us more about their scheduled trip to the Holy Land is Rana Sarda, VP for Finance and Administration at Journeys of Faith. And also with us are two pilgrims who spent Christmas in Bethlehem, Mia Onglao and Arlene Devin. Hello, ladies. Thanks for coming on the Hi. show. Yeah, too. Mm -hmm. All right, Rana, let's start with you. Um, your travel agency has been organizing these types of trips for a long time now. Yes. What does a typical trip uh, to the Holy Land include? Ah, to the Holy Land. Actually, we package it in such a way that everything is included already. We offer breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Our hotels are four to five star category. All the tours are included. So. You just go on the trip and don't worry about anything anymore. Okay, so yeah. hop on the plane and you can take care of just about everything else. Yeah, just bring some shopping money and I'm sure a lot of Filipinos will want to shop. But that's just about it. We do it in such a way that you don't have to worry about anything anymore. Right, and what are the sites or the cities that um, pilgrims who go on your trips visit? Yeah, like for this trip, we have uh, one departing December 19 and then arriving on January 1, 2012. Okay, so they're really spending Christmas there? Yes, really Christmas in Bethlehem. We're starting with uh, Amman in Jordan, and then we'll be visiting Mount Nebo, the site where Moses was shown the Promised Land. Of course, we also visit the uh, River Jordan, where Jesus was baptized, because the original spot believed to be is in the Jordan side, not in the Israel side. Oh, interesting. Yeah, and then, of course, on the Israel side, we go to uh, Nazareth, to Bethlehem, of course, to the Visitation, Mount Tabor, the places in Galilee where Jesus performed a lot of miracles, uh, Cana, uh, usually couples have their uh, renewal of vows in Cana, and of course we go to the Old City, Jerusalem, we have uh, Stations of the Cross, go to the Via Dolorosa, we go to the Church of the Holy Sepulchre, and then uh, this trip is ending in Ky uh, Egypt, so this will also be going to Mount Sinai and to Cairo. So of course there are a lot of other places in between. We can offer you more details. Right. When, yeah, when you call the country. But in all the places you mentioned in just like a, is that two weeks or it's less? Two weeks. It's actually not very tiring because the place that we travel is not very long distances. Yeah, Israel's not a very big country, so No, so this covers three countries, Jordan, Israel and Egypt. But it's not hectic at all because we've done it in such a way that even our clients who are in their eighties can do it. Very nice. Yeah. Okay, and if one is traveling to the countries that you mentioned, like what are the requirements, especially like in terms of a visa? Oh, it's very easy. You just need a passport valid for at least six months. And actually, that's it. No visa required? No, it's for... a group visa ah, okay. for Jordan and for Egypt. So we send the details to our counterparts there and they get the visa for us. And then for Israel, no visa is required for Filipinos. Oh. So it's very, very easy. Okay, all right. So it's not like you have to plan like several weeks ahead or no, whatever. No, not like you Yeah, right. this one is easy. So you can just decide like two weeks before departure and we can still accommodate you. Wonderful. Okay, yes. so let's go to me and Arlena who actually experienced this tour. Uh, you guys were on the same tour, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. So for Mia, your parents were celebrating their 25th anniversary yeah. and Arlene was uh, honeymooning <laughs> with, with the hobby. What would you say are the most memorable things about uh, going on this trip? I don't worry. Yeah. 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 Uh, actually, uh, one of the most memorable was when we had the Way of the Cross and the actual place where Jesus walked. So it was very uh, realistic that you could actually um, imagine how Jesus traveled through all that. And also, of course, the Christmas in Bethlehem. Because it's very different there. Unlike here in the Philippines, very commercialized. So everywhere you go, you hear Christmas songs or it's all about the gifts. But there, they don't actually celebrate the Christmas like we do. Because uh, there are a lot of Jews there, so they don't really celebrate it. So, but so there, it's really focused on the mass, on feeling the actual Christmas spirit where Jesus is. 
Right. Okay. And for you. Yeah, for me also the Christmas in Bethlehem, because um, it was very solemn that night, and it's open. It was open air, so it's really cold. Um, in one of the pictures I'm sharing, talagang nakatalok bunga ko ng dito kasi super na may na balot. Yeah, balot na balot kami, and at the same time, um. Father was explaining this, the true spirit of Christmas. So, feel na feel namin because nasa shepherd's field. So, parang ini-imagine ko na nandun lahat yung pumupuntang mga busy, ano, during the time of Jesus. And at the same time, the memorable was also the Via Dolorosa. And at the, at the same time, when, ano, I kissed the 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 ano the place where Jesus was laid to rest in the sa tomb niya that was in the Basilica of the Holy Sepulcher. Ayun, balang bigla na lang tumuloy yung luha ko. Feel na feel ko yung place na nako andito parang feel ko ako sa Mary Magdalene noon eh. Oo, parang people say that when they go to Israel they feel uh, so many things. Kasi iba daw talaga yung energy pag nandoon ka. Yeah. Would, would you say that's true? Yeah. Yeah. Iba. Oh. Kikilabutan ka. Right. Exactly. Mm. And and uh, for Mia, you were traveling with your parents. Yeah. It was their anniversary. Uh, how how did that uh, uh, make your family feel? Um. Actually, uh, it was kind of a pressure for us because it was their 25th <laughs> anniversary and we didn't know what to do. But the fact that it was, it was in Cana because they got married. Uh, the church here the same cane also ah, yeah okay or, so they wanted to do it there i see i see so there so uh the fact that it's in cana i think that's the big thing already so oh yeah <laughs> memorable memorable You're eight kids yeah, right eight kids. okay wow so um a lot of uh traveling and a lot of bags or yeah. for, for all of you guys okay see miss arlene naman mahili talaga mag uh, scrapbooking i know you've been featured on other shows just for your scrapbooking right um is there a particular favorite place you had in the holy land or yeah um Bali kasi yung pinaka-highlight nung tour, in-scrapbook ko siya one by one. Kasi lahat sila memorable. Then it's my It was our first time to go there. So talagang, e bawat place is all about Jesus. So, napaka-memorable talaga sa akin. Right. And your scrapbooks, they're not like in a photo album. Parang individual art pieces talaga yeah. siya. Kasi scrapbook yeah. naman is different medium, different uh, types. Pwede rin siya album type. Kaya lang, gusto ko kasi naka-display sa house namin. That's right. At talagang naka-display talaga siya. Here you can see everything. <laughs> what was that like when you guys went to um, the Dead Sea? Okay, makati pala siya. Yeah. <laughs> makati kasi sobrang salty, tama ba? Salty yeah. pala. Uh-oh. Tapos maputik pala. Yung sad, very muddy. So, parang at first, parang mag-alangan ka pa, ah, nalagay ko ba ito sa balat ko? Oh, it's supposed to be good for your skin. Yeah, but it is, yeah. Pero pag umangat ka, ma- malangis. Mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. gaganda pala yung bala. Ayun <laughs> yung ano, sekreto pala. Sekreto niya. Mga Israeli ladies. <laughs> mm-hmm. Right? 